happy Sunday or any of the day of the week that you might be watching this. I'm so happy you're here and ready to learn with us. So if you've got your Bible at home or activity book or journal, go ahead, you can get those now. And I'm excited to learn with you. All must give as they are able, according to the blessings given to them by the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 16, 17. All must give as they are able, according to the blessings given to them by the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 16, 17. All must give as they are able, according to the blessings given to them by the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 16, 17. All must give as they are able, according to the blessings given to them by the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 16, 17. Well, hello again, friends. Hey, we've got a new friend here. Hi, nice to see you. It's, it's so wonderful to meet new friends and followers of Jesus, right? Because we're all followers of Jesus. My name is Mary, and I'm a friend of Jesus too. I overheard you talking about some gifts earlier, right? I do enjoy gifts for birthdays and uh, sometimes surprises, holidays, Christmas. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering, what gift would you most want right now? Oh, yes. Robux. Oh, I haven't played that before. Is it, is it fun? It's lots of fun. Should I ask for that gift, do you think? Yeah. Oh, OK. Hmm. A gift I would want most right now, Starbucks Frappuccino. That's what I would want. Anybody else? A little sugar, caramel, all the caramel? I, OK. Well, hmm. I like getting gifts, right? But, hmm. What gift would you most want to give right now? Would you give me the Roblox? Maybe? Would you share it with me? I would give you a craft to do. Oh, okay. Any any gifts that you want to give? To you or anyone? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I do like getting gifts. Of course you could give it to me, but maybe your friends too. The Doll of the Year 2021? Yes. Mmm, exciting. Well, th those would be amazing gifts. It makes me think about a time that I gave the best gift I had to someone who was very special to me, Jesus. I love Jesus so much. I wanted everyone to know that Jesus is the Messiah. He's right here with us. God is in person. Wow. He's come to save us and set us free from some wrong things all of us say and do sometimes. I know I do wrong sometimes, and the fact that Jesus loves me and forgives me means the world to me. He heals people and performs miracles we've never seen before. That's definitely worthy of giving a gift to, right? I mean, it's amazing what Jesus can do. I really wanted to do something to honor Jesus. He's the Son of God, after all. He deserves the best I can give him. The best I had was a fancy jar of perfume. Hmm. It really was expensive. So small and such a great value. It's worth as much money as you could earn in a whole year. And Jesus has done so much for me. How could I give him anything less? Oh, so yummy. So I wonder, what's the most special or best thing you could give Jesus? Hmm. What could you give Jesus? Could you give him perfume? Could you give him a song? Right? We sing all the time. Could you give Jesus a song? What is that really called when we give Jesus a song? I'm thinking of a word. Let's see here. <laughs> Seven letters. And it begins with a W. When we give Jesus a song, what are we giving Jesus? Singing? Keep going. 
Mm -hmm. Mr. Anthony does it. Sometimes Mr. John does it. Yes. Yes, you got it. We can give Jesus a gift right now, all the time, when we worship. It's a really fun thing to do. We do it in Sunday school. We do it in big kid church, big person church. We even do it at home, right? So that's a gift we could give Jesus right now. Sometimes when we think of gifts or things that have value, we think of money. So let's try something. Friends, I have three gifts here. You may not open them, but please feel for a moment, shake, see which gift you would like to choose. Ready? Here we go. No peeking. Which gift could possibly have the most value? Hmm. Oh, oh, there's some exchanging going on here. Is that the one you want, Brenda? Is that for you? Oh, oh no, they're not done. What could it be? Which one? Have you all chosen now? You, you're happy with your gifts? Okay. Now, next question. Which gift do you think has the most value, the most money? Well, why does yours have the most? What do you think? Sounds like a lot of Ooh, money. Ooh, it sounds like a lot of money. Is it heavy or is it light? And, okay, Callan and Sarah, which gift has the most value? Oh, Callan is scrunching. There's not a lot in her bag. There may not be a lot. Oh. So if you had to choose, huh. Okay. So why don't you place your gifts on the floor? And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open it up. But we're all agree, agreeing here that Brenda's has the most value. Okay. All right. Miss Kellen, why don't you open up your bag? Dun, dun, dun! What is in your gift bag? Ooh. <gasps> oh, wow. No way. One, two, three Target gift cards? That's just like getting money, right? Huh. I never would have guessed. What do you have in there? And a snowman, too? Mm hmm So each gift card at, let's say, $15, how much would that be? You can always do a little math at Sunday school, too. $45. $45. Ooh, okay. Now, Sarah, it's time for you to open your bag. What could be the value inside your bag? Oh, ho, ho, ho. $120, $220s, three $20 bills. Woohoo! Jackpot. Must be birthday time, right? That's your gift. So how much value do you have there in your bag? 60? Mm-hmm. All right, Brenda. Let's see. This is the one that had the most value, right? It was the heaviest, that made the most noise. We were positive that this would have them bring the most value. Oh. oh. Well, if you like pennies, maybe this has a lot of value to it, perhaps. But I don't think it's the same. Which one actually had the most value, guys, between the three? Mm-hmm. You see, getting a gift sometimes, we're not always sure what's going to be inside it or what value it brings, what's important to us or to the person who receives the gift. Sometimes it's a little challenging to see. So what challenged you in guessing how much money would be in each container? What fooled you? The weight, right? Those $20 bills, they're just pieces of paper. They mean a lot, but they don't have a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. And what else may have been a little surprising? The sound. The sound, yeah. Lots of money. See, we forget sometimes that what's on the inside is really what counts the most, right? It's what's on the inside, and it's what's inside your heart. The spirit of the giver, really, that gives the importance. So. Why does Jesus care most about what's in your heart? Why do you think? That's a tricky question. Should we learn more about this story a little bit? Because I had to learn this too about how I wanted to give my gift to Jesus. And remember, it was mostly what was in my heart that was the gift I was giving. So, I wasn't an important person. 
People may have thought, just a woman like me didn't have much to give. But here's how I gave my best to Jesus. Jesus was eating dinner at Simon's house with some friends. So I rushed over to give Jesus my gift. I dropped to my knees in front of Jesus. I took my perfume and I poured it all over his feet. Yeah. I wanted to honor this person, right? And this, my most expensive and valued possession, right? I poured it on his feet. And then I used my hair, my nice long hair, and I wiped his feet clean with the perfume. Where I come from, cleaning someone's feet is a way to honor that person. Using my special perfume on Jesus' feet was a way I could show him just how special he was to me. I could show him what was in my heart. Well, as you could imagine, Jesus' friends were shocked. Like, what? What is going on? Have you ever seen someone clean something up with their hair? Did your mother ever tell you, hey, why don't you take your ponytail and mop up the kitchen floor? No? strange thing. Well, Jesus' friends were just as shocked what I did with my hair and my perfume. How could you let her do that? One of them said to Jesus. What a waste! Ugh, another one groaned. We could have sold that perfume and given the money to the poor. That was a waste of a perfectly good bottle of perfume. You see, the friends of Jesus didn't seem very happy with me or my gift. Jesus shook his head. He looked at his disciples and the other friends in the room, and he said, leave her alone. She's doing something good. You can feed the poor people and rest of your lives, but I'm not going to be around much longer. Then Jesus looked at my eyes and smiled. He said, what you've done will be remembered forever. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I gave Jesus the most valuable thing I had, but it wasn't about the perfume. It was about me giving from my heart that loves and cares for Jesus. You see, that's what Jesus wants more than anything. He wants us. He wants us. That means to give your best to Jesus. You only need to give you. Jesus appreciated my gift of perfume, and he appreciates anything you give for Jesus, too. But what Jesus really wants is in our hearts. Well, I've got to run. I hear Jesus is preaching in the next village, and I can't wait to hear what he has to say next. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way God's love changed me more than I can say Can't keep this in, gotta let it out Gonna tell the whole world that Your love is spinning me round and round Yeah, it's turning me upside down I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away
girls, you had such a great lesson learning about the best gift ever. What was your best gift ever? Was it a toy, a game, or money? Because you could get the best gift ever with your own money? I don't know, but gifts all look different to us, right? Sure. And we learned from our lesson today that Mary gave the best gift ever. Why? Because it came from love out of her heart to serve someone else, Jesus. So let's take a look at these gifts and see what's inside. Hmm. Let's start with the big one. All right. Time. There's time inside this gift, boys and girls. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means we can give of our time to help others. Maybe it's helping mom and dad around the house. Maybe it's time spent with a loved one. Maybe it's time at the church to help organize things or help out in order for other people to be of good service at the church. Well, those are all good things. Hmm, what's inside this little gift? I'm not making a lot of noise. Let's see. What? Money? Money? Well, money can be used for a lot of different things, right? It can be a great gift. Maybe we donate to our favorite charity. Maybe we give more offering in church on Sunday to help out with missionaries overseas or even the missionaries right here in the United States of America. Maybe it's money that we give to a friend to help, you know, for them to buy something that they really liked. I don't know, but money's a useful gift too. Mm, where'd that other gift go? Oh. It's right here, look. It's a heart. Boys and girls, what does it usually mean when we see a heart? Let's look inside. Love. Love is inside this heart. Wow, I think love is absolutely the best gift ever. Why? Because when we do things out of love and in love, it makes the most impact on the person that's receiving it. So, Mary was serving Jesus out of her own heart, out of her own love for him. And Jesus died on the cross out of his love for us. That's a really great gift, isn't it? Of course. So we must give as we are able, whether it's time, money, or the best gift ever, love. And let's remember our memory verse too. All must give as they are able, according to the blessings given to them by the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 16, 17. Have a great day, boys and girls.